is up I'm Alex. it's me I'm Jane on I'm a Jane TV and we're gonna do something a little bit different today as it is I know this was a bit late I should have done this like June July like end of like beginning of July but as always things happen like I have to like what's all this oh god okay So, we're going to go to my notepad here. So, we're going to, um, I'm going to give out my top 10 K-pop songs 2016 from January to June. I know this was a bit late, but I'd just rather get this out of my chest before December of this year. And then that's it. So, this was only the, those songs that has come out between this year January to June so on top 10 to be honest before I even start it has been a very difficult <laughs> decision to put in all the songs that I really love from this year from January to June because they were lit they were amazing a lot of groups has done so well some group did a comeback, amazing comebacks. So, uh, what happened here? Okay, so we're just going to start. So therefore, if you see two songs on the same spot, sorry, but that's how it is because I love these songs a bit too much, if that makes sense. And they were lit. And when I mean they were lit, it was like, 100% lit. Okay. Okay, so top number on spot number 10. It was difficult, but at the end of the day, I love these songs. I got these songs on my phone and on my computer, and I love them so much. I can listen it listen to it 24/7. So it goes to Stellar Sting and Dal Shabet someone like you these songs these two groups has done amazing and I really still feel a bit salty that the fact they're still underrated girl groups I don't understand how that works but this, this these two groups are amazing they're two songs I support them so much and I, I still got these phone on um, Stella on my phone so if I listen to it I love listening to the song it's amazing I like the sound that when it got, it's just, it sounds amazing. So, yeah, I just like the colours, the choreography. Uh, it's not just because they look good, but the fact that the choreography looks simple. It was a simple MV and very good, not just good message, but interesting me um, concept and visuals in the MV. And the song itself is very catchy and it just, yeah. It's just really good. I just love them immediately. First love. So let's move on. Top number nine goes to BAP. Feel so good. Yeah, don't get don't get mad. Remember, this is just based on my opinion. So I really love you to respect that. But if you have your top ten of your K-pop songs of this year, just please comment down below. I'll most most love. Not most love. I would love to see your comments and your decisions on what's your top 10. So it would be cool. Just January to June. Not July to somewhere to July to August. No, no. January to June. But anyways. Yeah, I said by a P. Feels so good. To be honest, I love this song. This song is still on my phone. This song is still my jam. It is my jam. And even though I reacted to That's My Jam, good point guys, BAP, good point, because this is my jam. And it still is my jam from from the very, from the get-go. Just, I love BAP, all the songs, but this will just pull my heartstrings like, dude, yes. And nearly John Gook nearly killed me for the k-pop um k-pop i mean the the mv reaction so yeah you understand so we are going to 
yeah, the, the song, let's just talk about the song. The song is very um, kind of old schoolish kind of feel with feel good song. It is feel so good. It's a feel good song. Uh, I love the colours. I love they they were dorky in the MV. Uh, I like the dorky side and the sexy side and the bad man side. You know, you, they have it all. They're very versatile. And I know that some people who are only into BP that when they are going on ham, like, you know, like bad man mode, then they're like, yeah, BP. But when they go on a, on a different side of them, they don't like it. But I do because that's what a performer is as a, as a singer or as an actor. You're supposed to be versatile. You're supposed to be taking challenges. I think this was amazing. This was like, oh. Yeah, it was like a, a bit of a Michael Jackson kind of feel, if that makes sense. Like, you know, the way they move a bit and some colours. I don't know, something about it just gave me a little bit of Michael Jackson, just a teeny bit. But the rest was like old school. But anyways, I loved it. I loved the outfits. They all, of course they would look good. So, yes. So, we are moving on. <sighs> top number eight. Yes, top number eight is this man who literally, who literally stole my soul. He gave me a virus called Defluenza. And he will be forever be the king of my heart right now because... Because, 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 I don't know what it is. It's Dean, Bonnie and Clyde. This is like my favourite songs from Dean. I love all Dean songs, don't get me wrong. Uh, I love all of Dean's songs. But Bonnie and Clyde and the music video. <coughs> Not only was it very, very artistic, uh, very interesting at the same time. And you had a glimpse of a, a, a bit of a, a little bit of glimpse of um, James Dean's car, and a little bit. I don't know why he was there, but we all know why because Dean did mention that's his favorite. He's a, he, that James Dean is the biggest um, influence in Dean's music, and that's why he's called Dean because of James Dean yes that's one uh the music video wow interesting he did some grown-up stuff on that music video I was a bit surprised well not really because he is a man uh was it 19 I think it was 19 just don't remember but he just looked fine as fudge I just love it um <sighs> I just I'm just happy that he's he done has done so much for us. <laughs> Thank you Dean for bringing us together. Um Bonnie and Clyde. The song itself is amazing. He's amazing as a person. I know he just went to cake on LA. But 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 this this was just too much for me. It was too much for for my own camera phone to handle from James Dean. James Dean. Lord have mercy. But yeah, Bonnie and Clyde was life. I still got the song on my phone every time I feel bored of hearing English music or other genre or any song, not just English and Spanish and Japanese and Korean or classical music. I always go end up listening to Dean, Bonnie and Clyde. So yeah, that's what I feel. Now, moving on, spot number seven is EXO, Monster slash Lucky One. I love these songs so much, both Chinese and Korean. Oh my goodness. And if I have to, I wish I could put all the songs of EXO on the spot because the at the whole album I'm in love like Cloud9 is just oh 
Of artificial love, Jesus, Lord have mercy. Those two, the the the, the songs, and there, there are more songs in it as well. I just don't remember, but those those songs I just mentioned, they're life. They're all life for me. It's just taking over. I'm just thank you, EXO. Well, f for now, I wish I could put all the songs and just say the whole album from EXO, but I can't. So I just put Monster and Lucky One. But I love them a lot because it's. They've taken on something different. This the, just like the whole album is different. They they they're approaching a different sound. They sounded amazing. Uh, apart from <laughs> the shockiness, the shockness of seeing someone has a rip abs already. Uh, okay, but yeah, I'm very happy that. So. I'm really happy to see them back and they just delivered the two songs amazingly that it became so huge it broke they broke the internet basically more or less not really but more or less a bit but it's not as big as tame in and min sugar or just sugar sugar and, and tame in so which they did so yeah, so that's why I love the songs. So let's move on. Top number six. The man who broke the internet this year. Earlier this year it was Tayman or Tayman. I'll just call him Tayman because he is a man. Uh, Tayman's uh, pressure number slash drip drop. Jesus. These songs are amazing. And if I have to say the whole album... The whole album is glorious. He literally broke not just the music chart, the albums and the album itself and the internet. He just literally broke the dance floor as well because why not? Because not only with Pressure Number he did the music video but he actually did two versions of the dance performance and then you got the drip drop dance performance that that took over everyone's lives he was snatching them he did everything he could to 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 to, to, to destroy basically that's what he did he literally destroyed people he destroyed every people's innocence their you know dignity the respect that's what happened okay um i'm going to check if the camera's filming is the camera filming? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's um. Let's have a. Let's just see. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so we got a couple more. We got. Let's move on quickly. Um, top number five is Jung Hyung. My bias from my shiny. She is. The album itself is, is again, the album again, it's amazing. She is, is amazing. The, not, only, not only the music video, but the album itself is just... If you haven't heard any of these, you just heard, just saw the MV for the respective, just the comeback of the song, just go ahead and listen to the album because it's amazing, amazing, amazing. I love the song. He looked good. His vocals is just, ugh. Oh. Thank you. Okay, so move on quickly. Um, so, n spot number four is my ultimate bias. My two ultimate bias groups, um, Vix, Dynamite, and Boys Republic, um, Get Down. To be honest, I did not expect what they delivered this year because this year, uh, I didn't expect Vix to have a little bit of a shiny kind of formula slash kind of old school uh yeah and i liked it i liked the different approach if that could be the easiest way to describe um okay <clears throat> and with boys republic again i did not expect this get down get down did you see the, the, the sound, the envy, the choreography, 
I need to listen to the album because I hadn't had time to actually download the album obviously Vix yes because they had like a couple of songs and it was amazing <sighs> Boys Republic it's just wow wow I normally do download all that the whole out well not the whole album but the whole songs from the album and then have it forever that's what I usually do uh, not this time I don't know what happened but yeah I had things going on and stuff to get through so yeah now let's move on quickly on number spot number three we got my my other ultimate bias group BTS Young Forever Fire and Save Me the three MVs all in the of the, the beginning of the year of mid of mid year of of between January and June they delivered the choreography for fire it was no joke uh, save me was amazing as well with the choreography as well young forever was just oh so soothing it's just calming I just love hearing the song whenever I hear it it's just yes thank you uh, and yeah the whole album is just the songs from the two albums from the um, you know, part one of two from uh, the most beautiful moment in life. Okay, so we're going to move on quickly. On number two, this was, of course, two different two different songs that slayed my life. And I say thank you, Jesus, because that was life. One, um, one of them is History Queen and Luna. And Luna's Free Somebody. Can I just say that Queen, I did not expect Queen from history to actually slay my life, all thanks to Kyungjil. And not only I went to, I, I, yes, obviously I went to see them here in London, the concert, that was amazing. All the boys looks amazing and my bias looks, oh, the bias, bias please. The Yopa was looking so amazing. He looks so good. So good. I'm just like, I couldn't take my eyes off him. He was like, is he really real? Can I just touch his face? I just reach out and touch his face like, mm hmm Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Luna, free somebody. The album. Okay, with Queen, I haven't heard the rest of the album. I need to, because I usually do with Queen. I mean, with not Queen, I mean History. I usually do listen to whole albums of their previous albums. I usually download all the albums, but I don't know what happened. I've kind of forgot. To listen to 